Hello, chat. How are you doing tonight? Hope everybody's doing good. We are back with Paper Mario tonight. Ah, there's a rift in the... Oh, ah. I thought I fixed it. I thought I fixed it. Oh, okay. We're good, we're good. We're back tonight with some Paper Mario. Last time around, we were... Hey, I can get some platinum points. We were finishing up some troubles, and then I realized I was having some stream drop trouble of my own. So I left off in the Glitz Pit on my way to talk to Jolene about something. And that something led to the final membership card at the Pianta Parlor. That's about as much as I recall. Either way. Let's get to it. We'll finish up these side quests. We'll blast off to uh, the moon. And I don't know that we'll get the star tonight, but we'll get really close, if nothing more. So long as I don't get distracted by the Pianta Parlor too much. <laughs> Anywho. Three, two, one, go. Whee! Jolene! You are asking to see me for... A magazine. A magazine for toodles that Jolene has. I see, I see. <clears throat> Mush, I will challenge you again someday. I don't know that today is that day. Mm, nope, this is the champ's room. I need the manager. I wish to speak to a manager. They put pickles on my burger. <laughs> Hi, Jolene. Need something? Toodles Magazine. Oh, I know the one. I'll return it soon. Well, I can take it. I have to return it now. What that magazine? Okay, give me a moment. She wasn't through reading it. Don't get the wrong idea. I borrowed the magazine as a promoter. That's all. Needed to see what the fuss was about. It's not like I follow fads or anything. Is that right? You got the wrestling magazine! Okay. Thanks, Jolene! Bye! At least this one's kind of a straightforward quest. No, uh, go count all the chairs in five different regions, four different regions. Find us shenanigans. Oh, 
If the moon was made of cheese, I wonder what kind. Hmm. Would it be mozzarella? Colby Jack? Cheddar? I don't think it would be cheddar. Well, there's white cheddars. Hmm. So you took my request. Decided to very much. Uh, very much want to read a magazine I lent to Jolene. She lives in Glitzville, and that's very far from here. Uh-huh. I have it in my hands. Uh-huh. Here you go. <laughs> yep, this is the one. True hero. Thank you. The platinum card for the boat game. <laughs> I solved the trouble! Alright, now we gotta go back. We gotta check the lucky board numbers. And play the boat game at least a couple times. At least, at least a couple times. You know, a couple times. Get a high score or three, and then we talk to the ghost behind the counter. So I noticed my breath and my nose nose breather is kind of stuffy at the moment. I've got to take my allergy pill before getting going, aka during dinner. Hey, what kind of badges do you sell? None. Okay. Maybe it's made of truffle cheese. Uh, I remember that story. It's a shame it didn't turn out all that great. But the other cheeses were good, right? For what I recall. Alright. Nine eight one eight. Today's number Hmm. Match one. Fourth prize! Life shroom, life shroom. Okay. Congratulations! I'll be back next week. Aw, <laughs> oh, dang it, right. Alright, so I do think. I'm gonna step away and grab an allergy pill. It'll take me like 30 seconds. Here's the minigame. Uh huh, uh huh. You can play the boat game! We're gonna do the boat game. But give me like 30 seconds. Allergy meds. Okay. Boat game away. Don't push us back because ever so close. No rifts. In this game, you can have a boat and dodge obstacles as you sail to the finish. Sail forward automatically, but you can lower your speed by tilting the opposite direction. The current will speed up during the second lap, so steer carefully! The faster you finish, the more piantas you'll win. Hit obstacles, however, and you'll lose piantas. If you don't finish the race within a minute and a half, you'll get a game over. Be careful, but do it quickly. Ten piantas, let's go. Stay on your toes, but I'm gonna be in a boat. Thanks, Parlor Boo. Hmm. 
Here we go. Okay, you don't steer faster if you push forward. Though, out of habit, I guess you'd say, I'm going to hold forward. No! I was doing so good. Oh, there's two laps. That's right. Oh! Oh! Wait, can I use those to go faster, quote unquote, if I rock it out of them? No? Definitely no. Not if they push me backwards. Hey, finished under a minute though. Burrow bumps. Twice. Error 404 Piantas not found. Play again! Yikes, the whirlpool. Speed up! Hmm. This is better than hitting the barrel. Cross over, cross over. Nice. <laughs> Faster. Under 57. Can I get it under 55? That's where my, my mind is thinking at the moment, though. Play again. The trick to stay like on the borderline so that you can get a boost going back the direction. That's what I feel like should be the case. But I question it. Yeah, like that. Like the real tight corner like that. Be up your barrel. That this this runs awful. Unless I somehow find a way to finish in five seconds. Not happening. Very not happening. Wow, this run just Wow. 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 That was awful. <laughs> Fifteen Piantas lost. Ooh. That's fine. Play again. That's okay. You gotta have some bad runs to make the good runs look better, right? <laughs> that, was, that, was, that last run was practically uh, ignore the rules, hit all barrels. Thank you for allowing me to show what not to do, right? <laughs> I'm really debating if tight corners or... 
We're just allowing the boat to go all the way to the back. Makes all that big of a difference. <laughs> Owl barrel. I feel like Owl barrel. I feel like it does. It does definitely make a difference. All right, this time for sure, I'm gonna beat 55 seconds. Let's go. Thought for sure I was gonna hit that barrel. In that corner back there. Boom, 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 boom. Go, 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 go. Nice. Barrel, come on. Go, 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 go. Speed. Oh. Oh. Nice. Not so nice. Barrel. Ow. There's no way this is under 55. I need to be on that corner at 50. <laughs> it's like, okay, I know the obstacles are there. Ooh, I lost Piantas on that. No, I, I gained 14. Okay. Picked up five. Time. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Last one, and then I'll, I'll continue my quest. <clears throat> For the crystal stars. I really feel like perhaps there is a way to manipulate the whirlpools in favor. But the times that they push you back is probably more often than push you forward. Dodge the barrel. Woo! Where's the needle? Oh, barrel. It is a 55. Thought the moon was made of moon cakes. Mm. Hello, Zinny. All right. One more time. Go, go, one more. I go one more. It shot me the wrong way. Can I can I just restart in the middle? It'll cost, but that's fine. I got plenty. If I'm doing just one more, let's make it a good one. Reminding me of my bad habit with Tetris. If I'm not getting a high score, I just hit reset. <laughs> and so I, uh. Of course. So Tetris 99, not Tetris 99, Tetris Effect. A course that is like set to be three minutes. If you reset 30 times. It's a lot more than three minutes. Uh, barrel, gosh dang it. I'm just moving. No! Uh. Oh, come on. 
<laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> okay. Still three minutes to play as long as I don't finish around. <laughs> Time management lessons from Chippy. <laughs> it's only three minutes. <laughs> what do you mean it's been an hour and a half? Last one for real. For, for real, for real. I do, what, what was that? I was going to go for... No, no more mistakes. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Speed up. Go, 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 no, 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 no. <laughs> if anything, I'm gonna match 50. Nope, nope. I'm gonna get a minute. Oh. Okay, we're done. Okay, we're done. I'll be content with my 5576. Now to go talk to uh, Miss Boo behind the counter. Don't forget to rescue Princess Peach. I'm working on it. Also, hi. Customers aren't allowed back. You got another high score! Okay, more about me. Hmm. Dream is to have my own place someday. Just want to be surrounded by cakes and cute stuff all the time. And then I'd get all the people I like to hang out there. It'd be so great. Well, I've got to work hard now to make my dream come true. But I kind of like wearing these kitty ears, too. Tee hee! <laughs> okay, that's all for now. Feeling bashful. And there are no more high scores to send you after. Hope you're not spending all your time trying to talk to little old me. <laughs> because I'm sure there are other things you're supposed to be doing, right? Maybe. Is it the X button? Lollaboo! Mm hmm, mm hmm. Pika, the boo who works in the shop. They used to be models! Really? Now we know. Bling. Oh, that's right. Check the high scoreboards. Ah, it's it's fine. It's fine. Okay. Whoop! Wrong wrong button. Wrong button. Doop 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 doop. Rogue port. Doop 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 doop. Rogue port. I want to go check. The trouble board before I begin progression. But I believe I've cleared all the side quests. There is, however, I think a shine sprite or two still in the sewers I need to go get, specifically because I have the Zoop de Whoop boots right now. Hooray! I've fixed everybody's trouble. So yeah, while I'm thinking on it then, let me... Calculate where I'm going in the underground. Because <laughs> there was the, uh, the pipe. There's the water spot. And the zoop de whoop boots get me to go on the pipe. And that's where I'm going to try and go and... Oh, also... That. 
There's things down here I need to collect. Oh boy, there's Crowbar! Doing the streak! Hi, Crowbar. You've been awake since 4 a.m.? Oof! Well, if you need to catch a break and catch some rest, please do so. Defend plus for your partner. Hmm. Can I not just grab it from here? It wouldn't matter to have to jump from here anyways. Boing! Oh, it's not a shine sprite. It's a uh, one of the magicians. Hmm. That's right. You were going to a T14 tournament something. I don't think I quite remember that right. I'm sorry. But I do remember you mentioning it. Did your uh, did your team you were watching rooting for win? Is there anything other than a star piece here? No. Okay. Celebrity name can be Tire Bard. Tire Tracks and Crowbar. What? Tire Tire -er -er Bar. Um. Okay, you can't do Ultra Jump in the background. I-13. I was close. Uh, still one North American team in the bracket. Noise. Bonk. I don't even have spike shoes. I still don't even know where to get them, but I'm sure they exist. It would be great to have right now. I forget how many spiky things there are in this game. But there's plenty of them. Hey, do you want some star pieces? Um, lose my partner's attack again. This would actually be the better thing to get right now. To be able to swap is 7 BP. Oof. But to be able to swap people at will without stealing their turn. Or without stealing my turn. Whatever, however, whichever. Would be great. I think I'm going to grab that. Yeah, give me, give me the quick change bar. And seven extra. You know what? Sure. Nope, 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 nope. And I'll take another happy heart. Should I get it for partner though? How many BP? Whoops. Ah. How many BP is it for partner happy heart? Both are 2 BP. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna do the partner. Pretty sure I don't have one already. Hold on. It tells me if I do. Yeah, you have one. Oh, okay. Never mind. 
I know I'm equipped, I know that. Hmm. Hmm. I think Mario's attacks sound weird. E. I'm debating getting it for Mario or getting it for partner, and I think I'm gonna do Mario. Because if I can stack two, it'll proc more often. Alright, decision made. I'm out of star pieces. Uh, however... Badges equipped and badge points available. Can you have multiple on at once? <laughs> Hold on a second. <laughs> That's got to sound awkward, I'm sure, but I'm going to f fool around with it for a second. Oh, chill out takes one one badge point. Whoa. What are y'all talking about in the chat? Late night fan fiction writing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where's... That's out of left field. Uh, okay. Extra mm. defense is nice because right now it's countering the D down P up. Hmm. I could weaken partner to put on. Um, did that say I have double paint equipped? Oh, it's equipable. Yeah, okay. Please no. Alright, I think that's what I'll do. I'm going to... Make the partner regular strength. Bet. I can switch at will. What what would a longingly gaze look like? I have no idea. <laughs> I, I could probably do the starstruck a bit better than looking longingly. <laughs> Anywho. I think I'm good with the badges I have now. Of course, when I level up again, though, I'm going to throw an additional point on power jump. Maybe power smash. Do I have to power smash? I do not. Shame on me. I use the hammer a lot more than my jumps because I'm terrible at the timing. Stuff. Bomber plane or hover. Plane. Boat. I guess I do have plane off. Here's a strange thought. I don't know if there's any roly Mario spots that are secret and hidden down here. face you look when looking at game menus. <laughs> it's beautiful! <laughs> what can I say? I like to... to, um... plan and optimize. 
Like, oh, this would probably be the best way to go about it. Um, while I'm here, I think I need to re-up my battle boost. Unless I'm still covered. Hey, fortune. Can you can you give me some some insurance? You still have power oozing off of you. Okay, no, I'm good. I'm here for my star orb insurance. Okay, thanks, bye. Yeah, Pit of Trials is complete. Um, I did the one super jumpy thing to grab that badge and that star piece. Some reason, I felt like somebody should have been out there though. I wrote one. <clears throat> okay, last time. We're going to jump back into progression here. Last time, Professor Doofensmertz, frankly, frankly, Professor Frankly, uh, was like, let me look at your map, let me read this book, come back in three hours. He didn't say that specifically, but we're now at the point where he's probably finished his research. So here we go. What have you found in your book? Excellent timing! Finally have it, Mario. Found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to the far outpost. And you must use the cannon there. It'll blast you. Um, we're using a cannon to get to the moon? Doesn't that seem unsafe? I know it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Counts from the far outpost speak of a device that can launch anything, anywhere. Even to the moon. Ooh. Well, where is the far outpost? I believe there's a pipe to far outpost somewhere beneath Rogueport. But I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called the Ultra Hammer. I got it. Ultra Hammer? Didn't we get one of those already? Ah. Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now, doesn't it? Well, the Ultra Hammer... Bleh, use the Ultra Hammer to go find the pipe to the far outpost. Get to it! You say so, Professor? Oh yeah, one more thing you should be aware of. The bob who live there are very... surly bunch. They might not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem! <laughs> Good luck! Get that last crystal star. Okay. amused by all the uh, not Mario sounds. It seems it just uh, rotates through each of those awkward sounding badges. So while he was talking about use the ultra hammer go do the thing I got to thinking Bow, one spot I forgot to go check. It came back to mind. Hooktail Castle. There were two iron blocks. I wanted to break. Yes, I know it's the pipe to Petalburg. Two iron blocks that I wanted to break. See if anything was hidden behind them. It might just be a star piece or what, but... Adventure! Oh shoot, you know, I had a feeling. One second, guys.
It's my low HP alarm. I did have dinner. But it is coming down. I didn't have enough dinner, I guess I would say, so. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go grab. Do I, have... I don't have granola bar. You have fruit gummies, though. I'll be back. Nothing more that should keep me stable. You know, if I could adjust the uh, alarm on it, I would probably change it to something other than switch it to like Link to the Past, low HP. Super Metroid low HP. Something. Something other than... Oh my god, you're really loud. Why are you beeping at me? But, to its credit... It's an alarm. It's alarming. Specifically for the instances of... Oh, I might be asleep in bed. But I need... Glucose. Nyum, nyum. Is it the phone or the amiibo on my arm? Well, it is the phone. Well, now I feel like I've been duped. There was nothing here. Hmm. Okay. Well, let's get out of here. Yeah, the, uh, the dot is just a scan point. Boom, 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 boom. You know, I just had another thought about side quests and stuff. The Koopa that likes to hide places... He hasn't issued another challenge yet. Unless it's not a trouble board kind of challenge. <laughs> Actually... For where I'm at, and where I need to go, aka the underground. Maybe I should just go this direction. Maybe the challenge is finding the challenge. That's... I mean, he's played hide-and-seek champion, so perhaps so. Wow. 
That's the Boggly Woods door. This is the Mega Pipe Room. Yeah. Nice. I have that feeling, unless this was something I already did, it's this direction. Go do the um, star boost for everybody. I thought we were cool. I guess not. Get quaked. I'm styling on him. I'm styling on him. Oh boy, mystery present. I'm styling on him. Sprites do I have right now? Thirteen. So I can upgrade four people to two two sprite. Thinking on it, let me go Star Sprite Boost. And then we'll continue our journey through the underground looking for the far outpost, really the far outpost teleport. Shazibi, Shazubi, I'm here to upgrade. -y. 
Shazumi! 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 Mmm, Tanjiro. <laughs> Should I upgrade this mouse? Shazumi! Shazumi! Dodgy fog to make Mario dodgy. Um, I guess in the, the case of needing you on the field, <clears throat> we'll make you regular strength. Comparatively. Shazubi! What's your next one? Smooch to boost Mario's HP so she can heal. Uh -huh. So there's only five more shine sprites out in the wild. Noted. All right, back to the underground. And I think my memory just kicked in. I know where I gotta go. And it's not where I'm going first. Oh, that was lucky. Dismount. Boot stop. Yeah, this is the pit. Not where I need to be. This is the door. I've already turned in the star. I picked up number six. Yeah, the place I need to be is West Underground. Let's go that direction. Game the Magic Koopa. Hit him with a shale. Uh, this still isn't quite where I need to be. That doesn't engage combat? Getting hit by a hammer from the hammer bro? Oh, I know where to go. It's not where I thought. saw this area once upon a time before. Oh, wait, huh? Oh. There's the pipe, though. It's just beyond the uh, twilight portal pipe. I was thinking, though, maybe I'll go ahead and do it. I don't know if it'll actually allow it. Or if I'm even remembering right. 
I was thinking... This fountain looks hideous. Maybe I'm just remembering wrong. Okay. Here we go. Chapter seven. Shoots to the moon. It's stupid cold out here. Come on, Gonzalez, let's move. Our outpost should be just up ahead, I think. I sure hope so. Oh boy, money. Wait, can I crush the... No. Okay. Oh, hey, Shine Sprite. Shine Sprite? Puff Cloud. <laughs> Jump! Tim. <laughs> Feels good, man. I think that's four and three, three now. Nice. So that cloud has no attack power, but it's going to cause me to go dizzy. Okay, I use jump. <laughs> oh boy, triple my coins. Auto kill badge is nice. Oh, look at that very well hidden star piece right there. HP plus for partner. It's a shame the auto kill badge doesn't award star points along with the. Oh, you took them out. But then again, it would just be one star point. Oh, far outpost. Where's this cannon that can shoot to the moon? Let's chat up some of the locals and see what they have to say. That's the plan. 
Looking for our outpost. Whoa! That is quite good lip warmer you've got there. Okay. I now give you my special mustache viewing personality analysis. Yes? Ah, uh, hmm. Yes, yes, hmm. Yes. Yes, I've got it now. Your bushy broom means that you are a stubborn and selfish man. How did I know? I have certain experience with mustaches that you... Blah, mustaches like that, you see. Selfish and stubborn, Mario? No way. This is the bomb village, da -bluey. There is nothing here, da -blamo. As you can guess from my Kablammy reserved demeanor, many Bobombs only open up to other Bobombs. Hmm. Hello, Traveler. First time in Far Outpost Kabooey? What? Far Outpost Cannon? Oh, silence. Wah! I apologize for that. No, I just had destruction. It's uh, nothing. Kapowie! <laughs> the one guy. Tell us you met Luigi without telling us you met Luigi. Right? Ha! Secrets. I found it. Snow's rare for you, In a far outpost, it falls all year round, Bagang. I like watching it shine in the glow of sunset, b, -b boomer Uh-huh. The Traveling Sisters 3! We are the Chili Wonders, the Traveling Sisters 3! We came to Far Outpost for the skiing and the ice skating, but there's nothing here! It's cold! Too cold! I told you we should have at least checked the guidebook before we came here! <laughs> Wait, I should go check the house. Hold on. Oh hey, it's the real town. What's in the house? It's locked. Okay. Now to check town. I make a big snowbob today. Maybe I am big as him someday. Papawi! But I do not want the melting to happen to me. Papoom! Snowbob! No many glue, snow fights, yes, all good. But snow gets boring sometimes. Chaboom! Mm hmm. Alright, Mr. The Dude Guy. Who are you trying to flirt with this time? Ah, Monsieur de la Moustache. I've tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn. She kicked me out. Cest incroyable! So now I must use the heat of my feelings for her to melt the snow. <laughs> yeah, you deserved it. <laughs> Make body and mind better, yes? Welcome to inn. Stay one night, 15 coins. You like rest? No, I'm good. Come back again, yes? Okay. Ooh. Ruin powder. Hum, 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 hum. How many points? I have 35 points. I'm close to a free Thunder Rage! Woo! Hmm. Well, that looks like a big cannon. You look like an important bomb. There's a star piece. Right, right there. Looking at the night sky makes me feel vast. Literally, feel vastness of space. Lots of space. Ba boom. You're dug in. It's so peaceful. Wa boom. Our outpost is nice, restful place. Wa boom. Uh huh. I know nothing, Shabui. I know nothing about local cannon loving nickname Big Bob. Shashoom. Alright, hold on. 
Any other star pieces hidden behind foreground objects? Would they do it twice? No. Okay. Ha. Huh. Mm -hmm. All right, Green Bob, what's the story? Yes, what business do you have here? What? Cannon? No such thing here. What? No way, man. There's got to be a cannon around here somewhere. What do you want me to say? We do not have one. I guess that's just a statue right there. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Having a bomb? Would that change your... What? Did I not tell you we have no silly cannon? Now listen here. You're the mayor, hmm? How can an official like you lie that way? Oh, so weird. Old boy, I know I saw a cannon the last time I was here. Do not lie, sir. Shush. You call yourself a bomb? I spit at you. You know rules. There is to be no mention of cannon to non bobs No mention. We must not allow it to be used for evil. Of course I know all that, you great blowhard. But we must use the cannon to get to the moon, old boy. And if we don't, sir, the world could end. Hmm. Ha. Huh. World could end. Um... Well, you cannot have that now. Still, you cannot use cannon right now because of certain circumstances. Circumstances? We must have permission of Gold Bob to use cannon. He's the one who started whole blasting things to faraway places policy. Once he got rich, he let the business slide and does not start it up again. Also... General White was the one who devoted himself to the operation of the cannon. But he is... He was so depressed by losing... of job that he took cannon key and ran off to some settlement far, far away. Old Bob and General White. Gold Bob is... Uh, it partially hides. General White? His wife? She's silver. I think it's a different bomb. Yes, that's correct. If you want to use cannon, you must find Gold Bob and General White. Very well. Can't give up now, old boy. Mario, search is on. Let's go find these two bombs. Well, once you find them, come back and talk to me. Where have I seen a white bomb? I was fairly sure the bombs of Poshley Heights are gold, silver, bronze. <laughs> key Hall Key Bomb, dude, is a black bomb, a regular bomb. Maybe I'll get a hint once I go to... Why am I going... Well, I guess this is quicker. Maybe I'll get a hint after I talk to Gold Bob. Oh, this is the part of the game I dislike, because it expects you to run around the entire game twice over. Oh, boy. Adventure, though.
We get to adventure. You know, maybe I could ask Goombella if she knows where the bombs are. But I already feel like I'm heading mostly the right direction. Mostly. No, I never bought pasta. Hey, there's an in coupon right there. <laughs> Get a pasta. Are you Mr. Gold Bob? Good day, Gonzalez. What can I do for you? What's that you say? You must use the cannon and far outpost to save the world? Oh. Well, that is rather a pickle, isn't it? Very well, then. I certainly owe you a favor or two, hmm? Yes, I should say. Truth is, I'd hope to resume my business with that cannon someday. Just between us. I only stopped because the wife said she didn't like the noise. Sadly, it takes a hefty bit of coin to get that cannon working, so... I'll need you to demonstrate just how much you want to use that cannon. If it were a matter of money, just how much would you pay? I may ask. I want to be... Here's the funny answer. But the right answer is everything I have. We're, we're trying to save the world at this point. I need that cannon. You'd pay every coin you own. All of them. You are... Uh, really? Really? Yes. Well, I suppose I'm just surprised to hear you say that. Staggered, actually. You know that means you'll be left with zero coins, absolutely nothing? You know that, don't you? I think that's how math works. I mean, think of it, man. If you spent all your coins, and I mean all of them, you would certainly face a great deal of difficulty down the road. I can find them again. But hold on, I want to make sure you're doing this fully aware of the consequences. <laughs> How many times are you going to ask me? This is like, really? Are you sure? Are you really sure? Are you really, really sure? Do you know what you're agreeing to? Did you read the terms and conditions? Did you really read the terms and conditions? <laughs> you sure you won't regret this later? I'm sure. You won't say just kidding. You won't say just kidding later on, or any sort of tomfoolery like that. I can really take them all. <laughs> yes. Well, all right then. <laughs> Hmm. Well, you've certainly shown me something, sir. Now I give my permission for you to activate the far outpost cannon. Old Bob's pass. Nice. You know what's bad? Considering I did the Pit of Trials before this point... and money's gone bye-bye. Oh well. Written permission to use the cannon. Oh, uh... And I wasn't serious earlier, my dear fellow. How could I take your money? It's a shame, I suppose. But I'll return your money. Ah! Oh! The fake out. <laughs> now soldier on, my boy. Thank you, Gold Bob. Do you know where I could find General White? Please put the far outpost cannon to good use, saving the world and whatnot. Gonzalez, I was so impressed with the way you offered up all of your coins. <laughs> Pretty cool, mister. You're a champion and a detective. And you're saving the world. I sure am. 
Oh, Roadport Daily. An unknown businessman was taken into custody today by port authorities as he tried to board the blimp carrying large amounts of volatile red liquid. After a few tense moments, authorities identified the liquid as a spicy condiment and the businessman was subsequently released. Our RDM reporters were mystified by the following unsolicited comment. Buy our new hot sauce, folks! Shop Reporter This week, we have the pleasure of introducing the fabulously luxurious shop on the XS Express, the Sales Stall. This unique boutique on the exclusive train of the independently the wealthy just reeks of money. Perhaps the idyllic landscapes rushing past will loosen your purse strings, says the impeccably dressed manager of sales. Come one, come all, be you rich or not at all, to our lovely sales stall. He then announced a double point sale for all RDM readers. Just show him this screen in the next 15 minutes to double your points on any purchases. Cooking for Rookies. You know, I am curious if the little 15 minute thing is true or not. I feel like it might actually be. But, I don't really need to buy anything at the moment. Cooking for Rookies! This is it, Rookies. You finally made it to the big leagues. Today's recipe is an advanced level. Today we'll be making ink pasta. Boil fresh pasta until perfectly al dente and mix lightly with inky sauce. Perfecto. Get ready for gourmet chow tonight. Hmm. Where do you get inky sauce? I haven't fought any bloopers, have I? Unless they were in the pit of trials. Editor's note. Can you believe it, dear readers? The next issue will be our last. Don't miss it. Hum, hum, hum. Alright, momentary ADD. Have we actually fought... Oh, wrong button. Have we actually fought a blooper? Uh, I don't have a regular Gloomba? No, I do. What's missing here? Oh, good point. I should probably actually tattle on... Ice Piranha. Bone Tail. Well, there's like boss blooper. Oh. But there's not like little bloopers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of funny. She's a party member, but she's still in the tattle log. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, unless there's like bloopers on the moon. I don't know where to get inky sauce. my quickest way of getting back to where I was. I think just going up and down the pipe. Ooh. Yum. Got any cool badges? 
What a shame. Actually, I'm gonna go see if I can find another power hammer badge. <laughs> the appeal badge. No additional power hammers. Okay. It is going to send me back out into the wild to look for General White. But let's at least turn in the uh, paper. I need to tattle on. Yeah, I mm, messed it up. need to tattle on one of those piranha plants. Perfect. Boom. Swap. Tell me about him. Frost piranha. Frozen breath attack can freeze us. Try to immobilize it first. Weak against fire, so use them as well. As I said, don't even think about using ice attacks, it'll absorb them. Makes sense to me. Boo! I'm glad I didn't freeze, but oh my gosh, six damage. I should have power hammered. I can switch to coops though. Ooh! Darn. Plop. Thank you, tracks. Yeah, a thousand drop frames just all of a sudden. Well, at the very least, at least I'm in a boring battle. Quote unquote boring. ISP just hates me on Tuesday nights. And I hate it back. Alright, I'm going to go to the inn. And maybe I should honestly just like... Shut things down, reboot the modem, and try and come back. I know it's heck a slideshow right now, because... Hey, I have even disconnected. Well, this is the night that I step away many, many times, so... Give me a moment, guys. I will... Kill 